Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to Unofficial Late Twins. Before we jump into today's news, I just wanted to quickly plug my second channel, Unofficial TV. On that channel, I'll be making compilation videos of all hip hop dancers and not just Late Twins. So if you like Late Twins and you want to discover some new dope dancers, then go to that channel and show some love. I'll leave a link to that channel in the description below so you guys could go check it out after you're done watching this video. Alright, now that I got all that out of the way, today I want to talk about the divisional finals and all the controversy surrounding Kinjas and Lay Twins. But before we go into that, I just want to quickly cover the battle between Ava Eagle and Diana Pombo. This was the only battle of the night that everyone agreed on the winner. Ava clearly deserved to win that battle, not only because of the variety of her dance moves, but she also introduced an emotional aspect that made sense in her act. Diana not only had a really stale performance, in my opinion, but she also used the same moves over and over again. She tried to be emotional in her act as well, but it came across really weird and didn't feel genuine at all. Now, I don't think Diana is a bad dancer at all. She could have definitely won that battle if she had changed up her routine and shown real emotion. But um, she's still really young and she has a lot of time to grow and develop. I'm sure we'll hear about her soon. Now let's talk about the robbery that took place yesterday. I haven't been too harsh on JLo or Neo through the entire season because they've always shown love to Lay Twins. But of course, as soon as I start to get into Kinjas and their dance style, they get eliminated to Swing Latino. I think Swing Latino has the potential to be a dope group, but what we saw last night was hot garbage. Not only were they super uncoordinated and relying on tricks to wow the crowd, but they were also just like Diana Pombo in the sense that they kept just using the same stuff over and over again. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say Kinjas were perfect last night, but their coordination, emotional routine, tricks, and story should have easily put them over Swing Latino. Now I'm not the only one that feels this way. Just go to YouTube and check out Swing Latino's divisional finals video and look at the dislikes and comments. That should give you an idea of how people feel about the decision that the judges made. Honestly, all we can hope for is next season they bring on judges that are actual dancers or have dance experience. And finally, let's talk about Late Twins versus Keone and Mari. Now I'm actually surprised that people were mad that Late Twins made it to the next round. A lot of people were saying that Laurent was faking his injury to get sympathy from the judges. Now I hope I don't have to explain how ridiculous that theory is. But I mean hey, if you think he's been faking an injury for 4 or 5 years now then I guess he should win an Oscar for that great acting. I actually thought Keone and Mari's act last night was their best visual performance but as I mentioned in the last news video, they had to bring that same energy that they brought to the last performance to beat Larry and Lowe. I followed Keone and Mari on Instagram last night because I'm excited to see what they do next. But I don't know if I can say the same about NBC's World of Dance now. Larry and Lowe should easily beat Latino Swing and Ava Ego. But I have a strong feeling that the only reason they kept Late Twins around for so long is for views and ratings. But that's all the news I have for you guys this week. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the Kinja situation. And do you think Late Twins are just going to body the competition in the finals now? Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in two days.